bentornati! In today's video I'm going to give you an overview of all the Italian festivities and celebrations going in order from January to December and giving you an idea of what happens on those days, if they are public holidays and if they are religious celebrations or not. So let's start from primo gennaio. So the 1st of January is Capodanno. Capodanno is also New Year's Eve and Capodanno is the first day of the new year. It is a public holiday in Italy, so people don't go to work and people celebrate Capodanno usually by having a big dinner on New Year's Eve, spending time with family and friends. There is a saying in Italy that goes Quello che si fa a Capodanno si fa tutto l'anno. And I remember when I was younger I would try and do all things I enjoyed just to make sure that the new year would be a successful one and a happy one. Next is 6 gennaio, the 6th of January. Il 6 gennaio is the Epifania or the Epiphany. You can check out my previous video on this, but this is a religious holiday and it's a public holiday and it marks the end of the Christmas season. So normally in Italy, schools are closed from before Christmas to the 6th of January and this is a celebration that comes from the tradition of the three kings going to visit Jesus and that's why uh, on that day the Befana, which is a witch on a broom, visits children and brings them gifts and sweets. So it's normally spent uh, by family, especially children, enjoying the day, opening their presents, their stockings and having a day off getting ready for the new year and the schools to reopen. Next, 14 febbraio, the 14th of February, is San Valentino, Valentine's Day, and it's a celebration of people that are in love, and it's celebrated as in every other country that celebrates Valentine's Day. Chocolates, flowers, dinner out. Sometime between February and March, there is another celebration, which is Carnevale. Carnevale is celebrated in the weeks leading to the Lent period before Easter. Carnevale is celebrated by grown-ups and children by dressing up in costumes, eating chiacchiere o bugie, throwing confetti and with big parades and festivals. There are many famous carnivals in Italy but the main one is il Carnevale di Venezia, Venice's carnival. Next, the 8th of March. L'8 marzo, Festa della Donna, Women's Day. Women's Day is celebrated in other countries around the world on the same day. And today, normally, people give the mimosa to the women of the house. Next, 19 marzo, 19th of March, it's Father's Day. Again, this is not a public holiday, but it is a religious holiday because it's celebrated on St. Joseph's Day. So dads are celebrated and one delicious food that is eaten on Father's Day is zeppole, a fried pastry filled with cream and sometimes cherries on top. Then we have Pasqua, Easter, which is celebrated one Sunday during March or April. And Easter Day is obviously a religious holiday they celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection. Easter is celebrated with a big meal on Easter day and chocolate eggs that contain surprises inside. I have to say Italian Easter eggs are beautiful and it's great fun for children to open the, the chocolate Easter egg and find toys inside. The day after Easter is Pasquetta, which is Easter Monday and this is still a public holiday and people normally a Pasquetta, they go out for day trips often in the countryside or to the seaside. Young people often go with their friends instead of spending the day with their family. And there is a saying in Italy that says Natale con i tuoi, Pasqua con chi vuoi. Next, we are in April, so il 25 aprile, the 25th of April. The 25th of April is Festa della Liberazione. This marks the anniversary of the liberation of Italy from Nazi fascism. This is a public holiday in Italy and is often celebrated with beautiful parades. Primo maggio next, 1st of May. The 1st of May è la Festa dei Lavoratori, Labor Day. This is a public holiday and it celebrates the workers and their right to rest and to a life work balance. In fact, on this day, schools and workplaces are closed. 
The second Sunday of May is Mother's Day, la festa della mamma. This is not a public holiday, but mothers are celebrating on that day. Il 2 giugno, the 2nd of June. Il 2 giugno is the festa della Repubblica Italiana. This day is to celebrate when Italy became a republic in 1946. And this is a public holiday and is normally celebrated with parades and festivals. 15 agosto, ferragosto. This celebration is in the middle of summer and it's said to be the hottest day of the year. And this is a public holiday and a religious celebration. This day was originally a celebration during Roman time to celebrate the harvest and they marked having a long time of rest after the hard work. Then it became a religious celebration celebrating the Assumption of Mary into heaven and Ferragosto is normally celebrated with trips to the seaside being in the middle of summer. Most shops and businesses close during this time and because it is during summer they normally have like one week or more, normally more, so if you go to a town centre um, during Ferragosto, it's possible that you find that all businesses and shops are closed. So maybe it's not the right time to go for shopping. Primo novembre, the 1st of November, that's Ogni Santi, which means All Saints. This is a public holiday and it is a religious holiday. Because on that day we celebrate All Saints and normally people go to church on this day. 2 novembre, this is not a public holiday, but it's Festa dei Morti. So it's when we celebrate the people that passed away and you normally go to the cemetery on this day. 8 dicembre, the 8th of December, Festa dell'Immacolata Concezione. L'Immacolata marks the start of the Christmas season and it is the celebration of the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. This is a public holiday and on this day families put up their Christmas trees. Il 25 dicembre, the 25th of December. Natale, Christmas Day. This is of course a religious celebration and public holiday. On this day people normally celebrate with a big lunch and as in many other countries people open and give gifts to their family and friends. Il 26 dicembre, the 26th of December, it's Santo Stefano, St. Stephen's Day and this is Boxing Day. This is a public holiday celebrated as a continuation of Christmas. And finally, the last holiday of the year, 31 dicembre, San Silvestro. This is the last day of the year and normally people celebrate Capodanno with a big dinner. In addition to these festivities, we have a few more. Feste patronali or Feste del Patrono is a celebration that is different in different cities and regions of Italy. So every city has a same patron, protector of the city. And so during the year, in different days, the different saints' patrons are celebrated, often with lovely processions and parades. Then we have the individual celebration. Onomastico is the same thing, basically, of Festa Patronale, but it's not to celebrate the saint patron of a city, is to celebrate the name. So onomastico is name day. Catholics named after a saint celebrate their onomastico on the same day of the saint feast day. This is a big celebration, especially in the south of Italy, at the same level as a, a birthday. So people receive gifts, they celebrate with cake. It is very important for some people. Then we have compleanno, which is birthday. And then we have anniversario, could be anniversario di matrimonio o di nozze, which is wedding anniversary. I hope this has been useful for you. You can subscribe to my channel to learn more about Italian language and culture. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!